What's up? How's everyone doing? All right. Are you excited to see me actually play your games? Uh, first off, let me know if audio is good because I've been messing around with some settings to actually get um, live streaming in VR to work nicely. Um, and so, yeah, just let me know if this is okay. Um, and then we can uh, jump into the games. Um, so if you are not aware, we have been... This is the uh, the week where you um, uh, the final week. Hold on, let me share my. I'm trying to share things, but buttons aren't working. Of course. Ah, there we go. I should learn how to use the the software. Um, so we have a, a game jam that we finished, and congrats to all forty two people who submitted entries and to all um over 100 people who actually started and participated in it i appreciate all of you uh, i think game jumps are super super fun even if you weren't able to submit an entry i applaud you that it's really hard um it's really hard to make a especially in 72 hours to make a full game start finish and submit it in a working form so even if you just started and you uh, participated a little bit I uh, really appreciate you for, you know, just participating. Uh, we got 42 entries, which is crazy. Um, if you're not aware, the theme was Escape Room, um, which is, is less of a theme, more of a genre. And I know some of y'all complained about that. So next time we do a game jam, we'll make it an actual theme. How about that? Um, and we are planning on doing another game jam here pretty shortly. So in the next couple months i don't want i don't want to do it like you know in march maybe in april or maybe at the end of march early ish april i don't know when when do you all think we should do another one is a month too soon uh or is should we wait you know two months three months before we do another one um but for the next one at least we'll do an actual uh theme instead of more of a genre because some of y'all were like oh this is a, a genre um and you know not very descriptive but is what it is I let y'all vote. So you guys voted for this um, next week. Next week is a bit soon, don't you think? <laughs> um, cool. All right. So we have uh, two days, 11 hours and 40 minutes left to vote. Uh, so if you have not voted, there are 200 ratings, which is actually a little low. It's actually, you know, only about four or five ratings per game. So if you have not voted, then make sure you actually you know, play some games, vote. Um, it's, you know, that that's how we uh, are divvying up the prizes. And so uh, if you weren't aware, we are actually giving out some prizes for the winner. I was actually not anticipating giving out prizes, but uh, Hurricane VR, the developer reached out to me and gave me some asset keys, which is super exciting. And if you uh, don't know what Hurricane VR is, just click the links in um, this page, or I think I have them down in the description. It's an amazing asset and actually goes 70% off in like three or four days. Um, so bookmark it. Um, a lot of, there's going to be a lightning sale with like a lot of VR assets going on sale um, here pretty shortly. So keep uh, keep that in mind. Ooh, Zenith Keys. That's a good idea. I might do that for the next one. Um, so anyway, the uh, first place overall gets both the Hurricane VR, which is a whole framework, and a hexabody asset key, which is a, um, it's like a locomotion system. Um, and Hurricane VR combined with hexabody especially is one of the most complete versatile VR frameworks to kind of get you up and running with VR in development. And then we have some very generous donations. So the winner of the concept category, so um, how interesting or unique the game is, is going to get their choice of a $20 or less um, game from the Oculus Quest store. So that's been donated by Sirius Pro from our Discord. And also the winner of the presentation category, which is the uh, how well executed the game is, is going to get a uh, zero caliber game key donated by Silent from the Discord. So I really appreciate both of you all for uh, donating some prizes as well. So today we're going to be playing some. Um, the prizes work in team submissions. Okay, so team submissions, you'll probably just get one key, and you may just need to figure out. I'll I'll talk with the developers, and we might we may be able to scrounge a little extra. But um, 
that is a good point. These are all kind of more dedicated, more oriented towards single developer uh, people. So we're, we'll figure it out. Maybe I'll just throw in, you know, the extra keys for the, you know, however many members you have. So today we're going to be playing some games. I went ahead and downloaded a bunch of them. I didn't get all of them downloaded because Itch thought I was like uh, spamming them. And so they stopped letting me download games. Um, so <laughs> we have to take a little break from downloading. Um, and so here is the rating. So enjoyment, how much do we enjoy playing the game? The concept, how interesting or unique it is. The presentation of the game. So, you know, how complete, well executed it is. And also the use of theme because theme's important in uh, this kind of a uh, jam. So cool. Uh, let's jump into some submissions. When did I download today? Yes, I did. I actually downloaded them like an hour ago. So I have the latest versions of everything. And I am going to play the latest versions of everything. I uh, I know that like, you know, in the actual rating, you should play the, you know, whatever version was posted right when it was submitted. But um, I'm going to play the latest version because, you know, I wanna, want to want y'all to actually be uh, entertained. And I actually want to play working games that don't make me sick. So we're playing the latest ones. Uh, you probably scared them <laughs> making... Yes, I was going to turn all of them into NFTs. All of these games. <laughs> They're all going to be mine, downloading them all. Hope I get some water. I have water. Because I know I always talk a bunch and my throat gets really dry in these. Is that what you're telling me to do, is drink water because I sound scratchy already? Ugh, it's going to be a long ride. I am going to be playing games for the next uh, little while, so... Um, oh, do we have a bot? Hold on. Let me uh, uh, let me hide this user. Um, unwanted spam. Yes, go away, please. Apologies. I need to get some moderators for the YouTube channel, obviously. I have moderated, I have amazing moderators for the Discord, but I need to get some moderators for the channel as well. Hey, Silent, there you are. Speaking of mods. <laughs> um, they should be deleted. Are they deleted now? That was actually the first time I've actually had anyone uh, spam the channel. Cool. So let's jump into some games. Uh, I'm going to play them in not a random order. I'm going to play them in submission order just so I can keep track. And I want to uh, have, a, have a whole a whole checklist over here of um, all the games that we need to play. So I'm going to be kind of going through and checking them off. So the first game that was submitted to our game gem is Escape Room. Also, I'm going to sort these by Windows. So today we're going to play the PC versions of the games. I like to play the PC versions if there are two because the PC version usually runs better um, and, you know, op works a little better. So, yes, Obsidian is... Um, I've actually... I just swapped over from Notion to Obsidian. Um, so uh, I may actually ping you for a uh, suggestion silent later. Uh, so we're going to play Escape Room today. Uh, well, we're going to play a lot of games today, but Escape Room is going to be the first one. Um, and so I want to go through and kind of look at the page first before we play it so we get all the controls and whatnot. I'm also going to close my door. Turn the lights on. Get everything ready for y'all. So this is by um, Stan276. If you're on, say hi, Stan. Um, and so called Escape, it's just called Escape Room, which is, you know, appropriate for this Escape Room uh, themed jam. Um, so this was using the Unity uh, Snaps prototype. Um, level design was the favorite. Coding was the non-favorite. Um, and then also here's some tutorials that he appreciated. So let's look at the game page. Um, so this is a... VR horror game where you collect, the goal is to collect five keys to escape without being caught. And this only works on Oculus devices, which is fortunate because we do have Oculus devices. Cool. So I've already downloaded this. Let me find it. 
Um, it is called Escape Room. And let's go ahead and open that up. Dun, dun, dun. Um, also, I want to swap over to this mode. Oh, no, it opened on the wrong screen. Stop. Hold on. To open it on this screen. No. Hold on. It keeps opening on the wrong screen. I need to make sure my uh, screens are set up correctly. Um, I need to go to un momento. Personalize. And then we need to make sure that this screen is set as the primary, right? To make this my main display. It is the main display. Here, I'll just duplicate it. Duplicate it on one and two. Oh, oh goodness. Ah! Okay, not what I wanted to do. Everything's messed up. All right, let's try this again. So I run it. Oh no. Why does it only run in that window? That's bizarre. I've been running games for forever. Hold on, I'm doing a thinky thing. Windows air key, arrow key. Yeah, there we go. I like smart people. All right, Windows arrow key. Let's see if it moves. Come on. There we go. I like you. Thanks, Karim. Really appreciate it. All right. Okay. This creepy thing's already happening. Oh, I didn't even make it. <laughs> well, okay. We respawned. Um, all right. So there's a there's some gorilla tag type movement. Um, I can kind of bounce around. Oh, terrifying, terrifying. I can't go very fast. Also, I need to swap my audio settings. All right. There's a key over there. Oh. <laughs> How do I grab the key? Oh no, oh no! Terrifying. <laughs> okay, hold on. I gotta swap my audio settings over. Um, of course, I play the, um, the scariest. Now you can hear the footsteps and being scary, like scared like I am. Terrifying. Terrifying. Okay. Where where is he? Oh, is it random? He spawns randomly. I can't grab the key. What the heck? We'll just have to go around. There we go. I got one. I'm getting the hang of it. Boing! You gotta bounce right on top of the key and keep moving. Let's go in here, maybe. Terrifying. Okay, no high bouncing. You gotta low. You gotta you gotta stay low. Oh my god, I hate this. Why you guys gotta make scary games? Oh, boing! Did I get it? I hope so. Whew. Goodness, this is terrifying. Also, there's cool little like visual effects. Um, I don't know how many keys I have, so we're just uh going around. Oh, there's another one. Oh no, this is a dead end. Not good. Run away. Oh no. Oh no. No. Oh, I, oh, I thought it bounced over him. Oh. <laughs> okay. Uh, we'll give it a couple more goes. So the thing is, there's 42 submissions. So I have to go like kind of quickly, just a couple minutes per um, per item. So. Oh goodness. Okay. Bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. Okay, that was this is 
three. Okay, we're doing good. We're doing good. Um, there's the key in that one. That's the hard one. Okay. Oh, no. Go, 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 go. Okay, if we can get them over here. Lead them. Oh, I saw another key over. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh. Run. Run. There's another. Okay, so there's two that are, like, kind of harder to get. Um, I saw one. Is this? Nope, not this one. Oh, I <laughs> hate how bouncy it is. All right, there's one in here. Get it. I missed it. Ah! <laughs> Terrifying. Okay. Should I give it another try or should we swap? That's terrifying. Um, okay. One more go. We'll give it one more go. Last last one. I gotta be I can't spend too much time on these, but Okay. Alright. Five keys. I hear him. He's behind me. Key one. Okay. That one was easy. Oh, there's two in the middle hallway. Let's grab. Um, oh, there's one right here. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Uh, I can't get it. No, I'm going to die. I'm going to die. Ah! <laughs> oh, no. Okay. We're move we got to move on. You get the gist of that one. All right, you also have to help me rate all of these as well. So uh, this one was kind of tough. Um, so yeah, VR horror game. To you got to get five keys to escape without getting caught, and it was it was not going to lie to you, pretty hard. Um, cool. All right, back to submission game. How should we rate this one? Um, so give me like an enjoyment concept presentation use of theme i'd say i actually i actually did enjoy this one looks spooky um concept so okay we'll go with use of theme escape room you gotta skip yeah i'll give you a five um i'll be pretty generous with my ratings um enjoyment this one was actually really fun i'll give it a four just because i don't know how i'm gonna enjoy more of the um love to hear your unbiased rating um it was th that one was cool the um the floor was a little bouncy so i think if you added some friction onto like the floor um and a lessened the bounciness so i could kind of sprint in more of a straight angle instead of a uh, up and down although the bounciness does add the difficulty so um it was good i think it was a little harder than i would have liked but then again i am rushing through it a little bit so um concept i do like it um pretty interesting uh and then presentation execution i'll give it a four since this is the first one um you get four out of most everything except theme cool i'll check this one off my list all right escape room done nice to save my uh okay I never know if it saves the rating. Okay. This one is called Cooperative Escape Room VR. Let's look at the pictures. All right, so this is a work in progress submission for the VR Jan Jam. Um, a cooperative VR escape room experience. You write on the window to communicate, find puzzle items and share them through the airlock. Work together um, to escape or remain forever trapped. Oh, it's a multiplayer game. Ooh, interesting. Does anyone want to hop on this one really quick? Or is it... Does anybody have access to their computer and want to try to join me really quick? We can try this out. That's a pretty big team. Oh, you want to try it silent? Okay, I'll give you a second. We'll watch this video. Okay, so you click on host a game, go into the teleporter, or you join the game. Ooh. 
Ooh, okay. We'll see if we can get this multiplayer thing to work. Oh, is it a lo local multiplayer? This looks really cool. We may have to come back to this one because it's multiplayer and I was not prepared for that. Okay, so you can write on the on the window. What's the point of the game, though? I guess, I mean, escape room, you're trying to escape. No audio, though, so you can't communicate except by the whiteboard. That's interesting. It looks like it's using the virtual reality interaction framework, which is a good one. That's, you know, the, it comes with the markers and stuff. Okay, so there's like a bunch of buttons and stuff you have to play around with. Oh, and you could pass the, you can pass through the room. Um. Okay. One player acts as the host, the other as the client. Multiplayer is only tested on a local network. Okay, we'll try it out and then um, see if we can get the multiplayer to work. Um, I do not have Hamashi. It's going to be a lot of keys if they win. You're not wrong. Okay, cooperative escape room. I guess I should have known from the uh, name of the game that it should that was going to be cooperative. Um, oh, I clicked on the crash handler instead of the actual EXE. I always do that because it has the Unity logo. I'm like, oh, yeah, that one. Okay, here we go. Oh, terrifying. Okay. Um, does somebody want to write this number down and maybe try to join? So 192.168.0.110. Port 7777. So if I host a game, or maybe I should join the game. Confused. Oh, okay. Hold on. I'm going to restart this. Whoops. Yes, you are. You're allowed access. I'll trust you. OK, restart it. We'll see if we can get the multiplayer to work. Because I feel like this would be super cool. Ah, uh, poor Bald. Bald boy, it's OK. There'll be another game jam pretty soon. Don't worry. Um, it's just local IP. Yeah, it's just my local IP, so you guys can't actually get to me, I guess. So oh. I'll do some research with this and try to um, do a private. Um, oh, I'm also above everything. <laughs> um, I'll, I'll I'll figure it out with y'all on Discord how to get the multiplayer working because it's super cool, uh, and maybe we'll try it again tomorrow because I think this one would be pretty fun. We'll come back to cooperative. All right, recurse scape. Re recurse is it like RuneScape, but recurse scape. This one was made by M. Karam. I think you're on actually. You helped me with the uh, the Windows issue. All right, this one is using a couple different art assets, hands, whatnot. <laughs> Evil bugs is the hardest part. <laughs> all right let's look at the game jam page all right you are trapped in a strange room the only way to escape is to play a vr game within the game in that vr game you'll have to play yet another 2d side scroller game to find the clue to escape interesting develop solo okay so this is like very meta it's like a game inside of a game inside of a game 
Oh, bald boy, you were working on a game engine? You're trying to make a game engine for the game jam? That doesn't sound very um, smart. <laughs> Not calling you dumb, I'm just thinking. <laughs> that would be very difficult for a um, game jam. All right, Recursescape VR. Let's test this one out. Oh no, I messed up my floor height. Hold on, I gotta quit. Um, I'll kill this really quick. And come back into it. I messed my floor height up somehow. Oh, interesting. It stays up, even though I disable Oculus Link, and then when I come back in, does it reactivate? Um, can y'all hear the music for the games? There's a button to reset your height on the wall. Okay. Let me restart the game then. I had to restart Link. It didn't. It didn't bring me back in. Ah, there we go. Much better. All right. First, first thing, the uh, hands are a bit off. Um, so my hand actually goes out like this. So it looks. It, it's kind of like that. Um, is the difference. Um, which is not terrible. It's a good animation. I like that. Okay, you have snap turning in. Cool. And oh, if I push forward, it crouches me instead of moving. How do you move? Wait. Were there directions on the page? How does one move? Or does it, do you expect to uh, have us just walk around the room? Oh, I'm close to the wall. Oh, okay. Oh, there's directions on the thing. Okay. Um, crouch forward, calibrate height. Um, teleport. Aha! There we go. I'm so good at reading directions, guys. Don't worry. Okay. So we got everything working. Calibrate height, uh, grab item, use item. Cool, cool. All right. So we have to escape. Um, this looks interesting. Um, oh, there's a note on the wall. I was trapped here before you, and I finally figured out the way to escape. I'm only allowed to leave a hint for you. Play my game. No, not this one. Oh, there's a... Can I grab this? Should I press that? <laughs> Maybe we'll, we'll go and play the game. Ooh, I like the little trash can. All right. Um, how do I... Can I smash it? Uh-oh. Okay. <laughs> I glitched through. <laughs> um, okay. So we have to figure out how to open the box then. Uh, do we want to try this? Pressing the big button? Sure. Can I press it? I can't press it. I can't even press it. Okay. So maybe over here then. Um, all right. So this is some sort of code. Is there a reference? So it goes up to nine, probably. Yep. Um, all right. We need a, uh, January 29th. Does that have a significance? Uh, January 29th. We'll type that one in. Is this supposed to light up or something? Am I missing anything? There's got to be like some kind of code or something, right? How do I get into the... Oh, 
but I could just glitch through it. Uh, maybe on the side? No. Is there something in the trash can? Ooh, there is. <laughs> oh, I can put the fire out. Okay, okay. Oh, oh no. Ooh, okay. Ah, ha, there we go. I like this. Nice. Ooh, okay, now it's a item. Cool. Sweet. Smash. Yeah. Okay, that was a, that was very satisfying. Nice. Okay. Grab the headset. I can only grab things with my right hand. Okay. Can I put the headset on? Eh. Put the headset on. Can't put it on yet. Or can I? Am I doing it wrong? Um. That was clever. I liked that. That was really cool. Um. Oh, use the item. It's pressing the trigger, right? Eh. Um, does it have something to do with this? No. Is there a number on here? Do I need to hold it with both hands? I can put it in my inventory. Can't put it on my head. Somewhere around my head. Are there suggestions in the chat? Is this count as cheating? You have to release it on your head. Okay. So on and let go. Aha! There we go. Thanks. Insert disc to start. My submission for the VR Jam Jam. I like this. Oh, it's a cool little couch. All right. What does this note say? I was trapped here before you. I finally figured out the way to escape. I'm only allowed to leave a hint for you. Play my game. No, not this one. Oh, it's the same same thing. Um, all right, so we got to insert this into there. And then... Boop. Oh, press X to start. Oh, can I hold this? Yeah, okay, so... Um, trigger button... Um, controls, what controls? So, uh, holding it down, like, go, oh, maybe, no. Is there a different X? That's an X, right? We stayed too long. The song started over. Um, right, I'm pressing the trigger button. Pressing this. Is there? Is it the X on my keyboard? Or my controller? Am I missing something here? Push with the index finger only? Nope. Index finger goes through. Maybe if I set it down... Oh, I did something. Okay, how did I do it? I did it by grabbing it. Oh, I guess you can't, you can't actually drop things. It just snaps back to your, okay. The developer in the chat. How did how did you do this? The right index finger. Yeah, that's what I thought. You're supposed to just push the button, but your left hand collider seems to not work anymore. Oh no! I am left-handed, <laughs> so uh, I always try to pick things up with my left hand. Um, so my index finger collider is not working apparently. All right, let's uh, let's restart. Maybe it got stuck somewhere. Here, I'm gonna restart the game. We'll try it one more time. Cause I like it. I think it's I think it's cool.
Alright. Speed run. Bloop. Bloop. <laughs> Smash. Aha! Do <laughs> you remember how long it took me to do that before? <laughs> okay. Alright, grab it, and then... Boop. Oh, okay. I got it, I got it. Oh, yeah, okay. We're doing it, we're doing it. Oh, no! Okay, okay. I can do it, I can do it. Is there a double jump? Nope. Ooh, okay, okay. I got it, I got it. Yes! Woohoo! Is that the game? Did I win the game? One more time, just for fun. I like it. I like the... I like the satisfying click when you touch it. Like, it's a very haptic... Uh, or a, not a haptic, but an audio kind of click when you touch it. I like the animation that it has. I also love the uh, the old school um, graphics or the uh, audio stuff. So it doesn't work if I'm doesn't work if it's in the inventory. Does it work if it's? Oh yeah, I can't drop it. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Oh, the clue is the number of spi. Oh yeah, because um, the clue is in the number of spikes in the 2D game. And then there's a... Oh, I did forget there was a safe in the first uh, room. Okay. The number of spikes. Uh, so let's go four. Um, that's five. Three. That would have taken me forever to figure out. Okay. Four, five, three, and two. Okay. Now how do we get back? If I take this out? Or do you just have to like start the game over again? Four, five, three, two. All right, let's start the... I, I guess... Is there a way to get back naturally? Or do you have to start the... Oh, take the headset off. Yeah, I forgot we had a headset on. I'm so glad y'all are here. Ah, oh, I... <laughs> I forget that I'm in virtual reality. Okay. <laughs> All right, uh, four. Four, five... Three, two, and then the red button over there, maybe? Or is we're supposed to get a key out of the safe first? Was that the right number, Silent? I know you typed it in. Four, three, five, two. Three, five, aha! Uh -huh. I'm liking this game, this is nice. All right, security card. Oh, okay, so this is like a little security card area. So, boop. Nice. And there's the the honorary turtle. You get extra points because of the turtle. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> cool. Very nice. Good game. That was a good one. The honorary turtle. Cool. Very nice. Okay, enjoyment, I'll give you five stars. Concept, very interesting and unique. Um, it was pretty... I'll give you four stars for the execution because of the uh, the missing the left-handedness. Um, and then also not... Yeah, just not being able to grab things with your left hand. Um, and then use of theme was... I'll give you five stars for that. Very nice. Good game. And also, like, it's the small things. Like, the when I clicked the button, it was a nice clicky, it's very satisfying clicking sound. Um, something else to keep in mind is if you add haptics into the game, it also gives it, like, a little, so if you do a little vibration when you touch the button. Um, I like it. So there's a flight simulator that I like to play that um, uh, VTOL VR, and it if you're, like, throttling up, as you're throttling up, it gives you very nice little click, 
click, click, but it's just like haptic feedback. So it's like, bzz, 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 but it like lets you know how throttled up or down you go. Uh, cool. So Recursecape VR. Very nice. Nicely done. Okay. And in a little change of pace, <laughs> we're going to play Mutant Turtle Spider Escape Room VR. <laughs> oh, goodness. <laughs> So this one looks pretty wild. Um, so a maze where spiders try to kill you, use blocks, swords, and grenades to protect yourself, get the ooze to power down the door, and escape this place. There is a timer, so compete with others to see who gets out fastest. Interesting. Okay. This game jam was 72 hours, Drew which is something to keep in mind as you're watching all of this. All of these developers made this in 72 hours, which is absolutely wild. Um, okay, so the current high score is two minutes. I'm, I want to say that's two minutes and 29 seconds and not two hours and 30 minutes. <laughs> cool. Uh, so problems known problems some of the spiders i did not set all parts to the correct size the x and z axis i had spiders smaller to start but was way too hard to hit them oh yeah because the floor the floor height is something you always need to keep in mind for vr and the ooze sometimes it's hard to find or someone falls sometimes it falls through the floor you can always still pick it up but it's harder to uh, get a handle on it and the ooze doesn't look right in the left hand. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna dock you guys for not having left-handed stuff. I will. That's gonna be the the purpose of my channel is going to make sure everyone puts left-handed interactions into their VR games. <laughs> All right, this one's called Mutant Turtle Spider Escape Room. Let me find it. Here we go. Spin up. Okay. Make sure there's no mouse in the way for y'all. Okay. Terrifying. Ooh, I like the the inverse kinematic. Oh, the whole body is nice. Okay. Um. All right. High score. Okay, and I also like that you added in a menu in here. So the other two games that we played. Um, Minus co-op, co-op also kind of did this. Have um, they did not have a um, a menu, so it's like the game just automatically started right when you started. <laughs> I also did this in my game, so uh, I'm not docking y'all. But something that's nice, if you have the time, is adding in a menu or at least a safe area to start the player at. Um, so, yeah, when I first spawned in, I didn't see the menu, so I was like, oh no, we're playing and there's spiders. Okay, so there's spiders. There's a sword. I'm get that's a grenade. I don't know what the blocks are. I do like how you added in the uh, elements in here as well. Um, get ooze to open the door. All right, let's let's play. Okay, this is very um, Half-Life vibes. <laughs> Grenades. Oh no! Goodness. Yeah. Do I have health? I don't know how to see my health. Oh, okay, okay. Ah. Ha. Ha. Oh no. Oh, you're eating me. Stop it. That's a lot of spiders. Run away, run away, run away. Grenade. Oh goodness. Oh, I'm gonna die. Oh, I lost my sword too. All right, where's the ooze? What is this ooze we're looking for? What are you? If I can throw blocks at them and kill them. All right, here's another sword. Eh. Ah. I'll just run through the maze of spiders. The spiders are kind of terrifying, not gonna lie. All right, the door requires... Oh, batteries. Okay, okay. So I have seen this in the uh, Hurricane VR demo. Also, um, type in the chat if the audio is too loud for you, because I will turn it down if I die. 
Oh, I just stabbed the table. I tend to do that. Okay, um, so we're looking for that ooze. We're looking for ooze. Oh, goodness. That's probably <laughs> just a turtle. <laughs> it's the giant mutant turtle. <laughs> yeah. I can handle spiders, no problem. Oh, look at those butt cheeks. <laughs> That's ginormous. Yeah. Can I kill it? Is he going to step on me? Oh, no. Oh, I got him. I got him. It killed my sword, though. Alright, so uh, these gotta do something, right? What are these bucks? What do they do? Did I kill all the spiders? Oh, nope. I did not. I don't have a sword, either. This one. Oh, no. That was a cool little drift around the corner there. <laughs> um, okay. So the ooze, they said, may be hard to find because it's in the ground a little bit. Wait, let me see if these blocks... Does this count as ooze? Bloop. No. Nothing there. Okay. So the ooze may be hard to find... Let's kind of just roam about a little bit. Oh, there's another turtle. Maybe it spawns when the turtle dies? Yeah. Yeah. Oh no, my sword. Oh no, my sword just disappears sometimes. Oh, oh no. Oh no, I'm gonna die. I'm so dead. I can't punch them either. I'm dead, I'm dead. Grenade. I need a grenade. Oh! Yeah, there we go. Okay. Um, I'm not seeing any of this ooze stuff, and I'm not quite sure what the blocks do. Um, there is a sword health, but no. Um, do any of y'all know what the blocks do? I don't think you have health. Okay. Does any, has anybody played this and beat it and want to give me <laughs> a look at So we've discovered that uh, that we don't have health, so I can just be eaten by spiders all day and be fine, apparently. Oh, nope, there is health. Okay. Um, let's restart. <laughs> I was like, we've discovered there's no health and then I die. Wait, so... Oh, do you have to get like three of these? Is this the ooze? Maybe you have to stack three of the oozes? I like this, this is cool. Any ideas? The ooze canisters were by the bosses when you played. Okay. The blocks don't do anything. <laughs> yeah, like, why are there random boxes everywhere. <laughs> um, okay, so I'll, I'll know it when I see it. Alright, let's 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 try this again. Alright, am I centered in the screen? There we go. Alright, let's, let's try again. Oh, there's a table right there. I'm going to back up. Alright, so we, we do have a health. We've uh, established that. Alright, so we're going to go defeat this turtle over here and see if the uh, container is over here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Die, die, die. Oh no, my sword. Oh, I dropped it. I think I keep dropping the swords. Oh no, got to get to the sword before he does. Cool. Alright, let's use the grenade. Oh, it blew up in my hand. That's probably not good for my health. 
I don't see any... Oh, I died. I died a lot faster that time. Probably because I blew the grenade up in my hand. Alright, let's try again. One more time. I'm going to like specifically look for the... Uh... <laughs> you guys notice I instinctively always look for the table when I bend down. Alright. Probably by the monsters. Die. Let's pick up this sword too, just so we have a backup. Okay, I like the music. The music's pretty cool. Alright. Um, Alright, so... Fire is obviously somewhere we probably need to go. I don't see a container. Is it just a maze and you have to find the container? That is a cool model. Okay. So our goal right now is not to do anything, it's to find the container. Blah. Two swords is the way to go. A two? Oh, another one. Bites the dust. Are you behind me? Oh, goodness. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Poke you in the eye, poke you in the eye. Boop. They have lots of eyes, so it's easy to poke them in the eye. Um, alright, so I'm still not seeing canisters. Yeah. Ow! A little jump scare. There's one behind me. Yep. Lots of them behind me. I don't see any canisters still. I'm feeling like the level might be a little too big. Maybe I have to kill this guy? Oh no, my swords. Oh, I died again. Uh, okay, we'll, we'll move on. Interesting concept. Yeah, three games to go. Oh yeah, I do need to go faster. I'll I need to quit quit trying to beat them. That's the problem with escape rooms is everyone makes these like super hard puzzles, and then I'm like, oh no, I have to you know beat them, and it takes me thirty minutes to beat every single one. Um, okay, this one was interesting. I never did find the container though. Um, and maybe I'll come back to it, but I'm trying to go through and rate. So, um, pretty enjoy. Uh, the concept was definitely unique. I'll give you that. Or are we rating off of the, um, yeah, we'll give, we'll give you uniqueness. Um, presentation, uh, I'll go three stars on this one because I never could find the containers. And then use of theme is, I'll do a four because it wasn't quite a escape room. Um, if I had defeated the boss, maybe I got the container. Or are you, I'm not being biased with my reviews. You guys can help me vote if you want. All right. Next up, through the lens. All right, so this one is a puzzle game set around a magical spyglass. Reveal hidden secrets to solve interesting puzzles. Escape the dark tower you woke up in. Um, overcome lasers, lights, and locks. Reveal secret runes and escape the tower. Developed by a team of three in 72 hours. Um, built for Steam VR, And also, they recently updated it so you can do Quest 2. So... Looks pretty cool. Let's jump in. Through the lens is what it's called. Oh, Silent is your game? I'm being biased towards positive in my reviews. Yes, we'll, we'll say that. You can be harder when you review it. And you can review it off of my submission, I guess, if you want. Oh no, one of my controller batteries is low. 
All right. All right, cool. Oh, okay. So there's a it's a little <laughs> it's a little lag for the hands when you walk around. Um, snap turning. This is cool. Y'all can see everything, right? I didn't put the mouse on the screen. That's what I'm always worried about. It's adding the mouse on the screen. Where are you? Okay, cool. <laughs> I added it on and came back. This is cool. Okay, the hands are are physicalized, which is nice. It was a little uh, crate, a little cratey crate. There's a there's a little uh, it's a very slow hand animation, but it it works. Um, okay, so this looked like the thing in the uh, video. I'm just gonna collect stuff right here for a second. Okay, there's a little pail. I might need this. There's a weird looking cube that I can pick up with my pinky because I'm so strong. Um, okay, so here's the magnifying glass. There's a barrel. Um, this looks like some sort of puzzle with a red thing right there. I don't know. Is that supposed to be sticking through or not? Um, all right. Magnifying glass. So judging from the cover, we can see things through this. Ooh, I really like this effect. You can kind of see, you can see the reflection of the candles. That's cool. I really like that. Um, okay. So if I move around, can I see stuff through the magnifying glass? Maybe there's something over here. I probably missed something. This is why it's going to take me like 37 hours to play everything. Um, okay. Oh, okay. There we go. So there's an R there. Can I pick it up? Nope. Um, so R. Ooh, and here's a little die that you can... Oh, okay. Um, so this is R. This does something, maybe? Is there anything else back here? Ooh, maybe the other cube has something on it. Yes, it does. Okay, so um, this cube has another little symbol on it. The bucket is haunted. Good to know. <laughs> Did I miss anything else? Is there anything else with the... I'm just going to put it as close to my face as possible so everything gets highlighted. <laughs> okay, so there's some weird looking... Oh, the lighting over there makes everything blue. That's why this was blue. Okay, so there's uh, some different runes and they... Match up with this somehow? <laughs> um, okay, so what do y'all think I should do with the random cubes? The little room right there. Is there any is there any other like writing or anything anywhere? On the ceiling, maybe? Oh, oh. Oh, oh, okay. Ah, that's a clue. And then all of these. Okay, so I don't need y'all's help yet. Ugh. Hopefully that's close enough. And then right there. And right there. Ooh, something unlocked. The door. Ooh, there's another room. Okay. Ooh, another cube. I should probably be putting all of these in a bucket, uh, right? Oh, there's a lot of cubes. Oh, there's a lot of things in here. This is cool. Oh, okay, some lasers. Okay, so the magnifying glass blocks it. That's interesting. Um, and then there's a bunch of cubes. They all have different letters on them. <laughs> another enchanted bucket. Um, okay, so there's a bunch of cubes. Um, oh, and the cubes go over here. We have to spell something, probably. Oh, and there's lock boxes over there. This seems like a proper escape room. Okay, let's put the magnifying glass in the in the bucket. No, oh, it's uh, it's convex. 
Can't use the bucket. Okay. So we need to spell something probably, right? So we, we're going to have to bring all of the cubes over here. Oh, there's no sprinting. All right, but while we're bringing the cubes, how are we going to figure out how to spell something? Because we have a lot more cubes than we have um, designs. Also, I don't know. Oh, oh. All of these. I thought it was like some museum at first. I'm realizing now. Okay, so when we do the cubes, one of these laser things should turn on. That makes sense, probably. Ooh, there's another symbol. Okay, so we saw an, we saw an R over there. That's probably going to be the first one. We have to find the R cube. Okay, so... Cube over here. There's lots of cubes. Oh, there we go. R. R goes first, probably. Ooh, it probably spells rune. You think it spells rune? R. Is that a... Can we turn them sideways? Or is it like a specific... Okay, yeah. It locks into a specific direction. Okay, so R. Um, what's this one over here? <laughs> Me. There's... Uh, there's one I left over there as well in the other room. So get, grab this one. What's this one? X. Room, room X. Room X. What's what's the passphrase? Does anybody know the passphrase? Should I cheat just to make it go faster? Okay, so we saw R and we saw another one in the... Uh, uh, maybe I can carry both of them at the same time. Yeah, okay. Ever so gently. Oh, no. Okay, we'll come back for it. This looks interesting. Okay. Um, so this goes here. I dropped this one. Ooh. Okay. Um, almost there. We need one more. It's over here. I'm a collector. Collector of cubes, of salt cubes. Maybe the buckets did work. Probably should have tried the buckets a little harder. Oh well. Okay, so here's all the runes. Um, the R I saw when we first started, so that's why I'm assuming that's the first one. Um, and then there's one over here. It looks like half of a tree. Um, some of y'all probably actually know what the, um, runes are called. So we got, oh, I could have used the box. The box is how you carry around the cubes. Some of y'all probably said that too. Oh, I can't, can't lift that one. Okay. Um, do the barrels have anything to do with anything? Also, I don't know what's up with these boxes over here. Um, okay, so R, half a tree. Half a tree is over there. I'm going to guess it goes in there. Um, and then we have two more. I haven't seen any other, like, runes or anything. Um, these can move around. Ooh. Um, pointed at you? No? Oh, it needs to go... Okay, hold on, hold on. Okay. So it's pointed at this one. This is cool. And then this one goes there. Oh, oh give me my hand back. Eh, okay. And then this one goes there. Ooh. Nice. Okay. And then we can bounce it off this one to get here. 
All right, I see where this is going now. I was trying to solve the puzzle too early. Another laser? The laser doesn't turn on, though. Um, okay, what about... Can we just go straight across? Nope. All right, we're going to bounce off that one, go to that one, and then come here. This is cool. I like this. This is fun. This is... I don't know why I'm still holding this magnifying glass either. We're going to put it on this pedestal. Well, maybe not. That pedestal might move. I'm going to put it right here. <laughs> All right. You go there. I would have absolutely blinded myself if this was in real life. Okay. Oh, oh, ooh. We opened a box. Wow, this is... I'm enjoying this. It's so bright. Ah! Another special cube. What does this one have on it? This one oh, has a, uh, a Y. Let me turn it around so we can see it. My collection of uh, cubes here. All right. Carry on with the, the lights. I didn't lo just lose that magnifying glass. All right, um, we hit that one. We hit that one. We got that one. Um, we got to drop that one down. How do we turn you on? Um, what am I missing? What if it goes into... What if it goes into the laser generator thing? Does that... Will that work? This is a really cool concept. Nope. Okay. Can I pick up this chessboard? That's my next question. No. It's the only odd thing in the room. Well, I wouldn't say only odd thing in the room. Um, okay, 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 okay. What's next? I should have seen all these boxes around. That's how you carry around the <laughs> cubes. What happens if you put a cube in front? Oh, it just blocks it. Yeah, okay. Very clever. So you're doing this with Raycast, I'm assuming. And so if it hits a specific layer, then the ray cast will actually bounce off of it and you'll you do like an inverse kind of equation to figure out the next angle and it just goes around. And then you just say if the ray cast hits the this little area here, trigger some action. That's what I'm assuming you did. Hmm. Okay. Let me look at chat. Maybe you'll have the next hint. catch up on uh, on chat wow you guys talk a lot uh sorry skelly i don't know what message you posted earlier um oh so do i have to do the uh it's perfectly balanced with no the writing on the walls has some hints um, they're Wicca ruins. Interesting. They're all numbers 1 to 5. 1 to 15. Interesting. Okay. There's one camouflage on the barrel near, next to the chessboard. Okay. Um, and then there's probably one more somewhere. Fox's defense system is behind the Ute loser. All right. Search for the last two runes. Gotcha. Okay. So that's the... Um, they are hidden. Okay, two more runes. I got a hint from someone that it is on this barrel next to it. I probably need my magnifying glass. Don't lose the magnifying glass. Ooh, okay. Tree. 
Oh, that's why it was just a random empty pedestal. I was confused. I was like, what the heck? Um, okay. Oh, and there it is. All right, so we, we got a letter P looking thing, and then the uh, um, the Y. So we got R, half tree, um, letter P. Did I not find a letter P? Am I missing one? And then Y. I'm going to guess you go here. Ooh. Oh, I got it. Okay. A ball. Just what I wanted. And that turned on to... Okay, that turned on because I solved that puzzle. Um, now I have a random ball. What just came down? Oh, that one came down. So I, we have to hit that one. Leave my magnifying glass there. I don't know what the ball goes. Ooh, the ball goes there. And we need another ball, which is going to be the next crate, probably. All right, I'm getting the hang of this. Ooh, it's blue. Um, I apologize for the screaming you hear in the background. It's just my battery um, complaining that I'm using too much processing power. <laughs> Okay, there we go. Last one. Maybe we'll win. So the screaming silent, your game's too powerful. Ooh, there we go. Awesome. That was really cool. I actually really enjoyed that. Nice. Good job, silent. What'd y'all think of that one? Very nice. All right, let's go to the submission page here. Three people in 72 hours. Very nice. You organized yourselves pretty well, too. I don't know what message you posted earlier, Skelly. Is it in the chat? Is it like way, way up in the chat? Look in the system requirements, power usage, unlimited power. I need, yes. Very polished. Cool. All right, let's rate this one. What do y'all think? Enjoyment. I very much enjoyed that. Um, it was very unique also with the runes. It's like a mix of uh, old school and new, new school kind of stuff. Um, He said to refresh because he made it so his game counts in as PC VR. Oh, I realized my game wasn't set to be PC VR, but it is. I changed it to where it says it is. Oh, refresh. Okay, yeah, I will refresh my page. There you go. Oh, it tells me which ones I rated too. Cool. Sure thing. Um, Avery, what are you doing? Uh, presentation. How well executed? What do y'all think? Four out of five stars for which one? I'll say I'll give you five for the theme. Presentation should be five stars, four stars. We'll go four stars. Cause some, I'll go four, five. I'll go all fives for this one. This one, I I honestly think this one will be hard to top. So, all fives. Well done. All right, let me reset my uh, thing here. Or do we miss speed escape? Or uh... oh, this is Skelly's. Okay. All right, Skelly, we'll play your game. Need to make sure I download it. There we go. That's what you were talking about. Okay, I get it, Skelly, now. Thanks for letting me know.
All right, this is Speed Escape by Skelly Beast. All right, this one is speed run through the escape rooms and be the fastest you can ever be. There are three modes. Each of them have three levels or two modes. Each have three levels. You're supposed to play through each level a couple of times to beat it, just like actual speed running. Okay. Oh, so you're not going to be able to get through it until you uh, get all the way until you go to it a couple times, probably. Okay. Cool. Let's jump into it. So we've done a solid, what, four games in an hour and a half? We're never going to finish. <laughs> Tomorrow's live stream is going to be such a long live stream. We'll go for this one probably for at least another hour ish. Um, <laughs> we're not going to finish all 42 games. Oh, no. Tomorrow's going to be like a, it's going to be two, it's probably going to be like two really long live streams. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see how far we get. All right. Skelly with Speed Escape. Let me make sure I'm in the, in the right spot. Oh, no. Don't turn off. I press, I press the turn off button. Speed Escape. Controls. Left joystick is to move. Right joystick is to turn. Grip button is to grab. Perfect. I love simple controls. Tutorial. You are put in a room, and you have to find the key to open the room's door in order to escape. Put the key into the keyhole on the door to unlock it, and you have a limited time to escape the room. The time is shown on the bottom of the wrist in your left hand. Okay, so right there. Um, and that's it. Cool. I really like this menu. This is... All right, before we start, good job on the menu. This is very nice. It's like, you know, it's not the simple, you know, menu that just hangs out in the center there. You have like a whole scene for it with, um, and it's like optimized for VR. Very nice. I like it. Um, and play. Uh, we'll start at level one dash one. Okay. Go fast. Huzzah. Woohoo. Okay. Key, key, key. It's going to be... Oh no. Oh, I lost. Oh no. I didn't mean to quit. I hit the wrong button. That was made by a lefty. There we go. <laughs> so you know. You know the pain I feel. All right. Cool. All right. Uh, this one is going to be behind the books. Okay. Uh, and then this one is in the tree. Nope. Under this. Oh, no. All right. Not. Uh, we'll go to restart. Um, under the bed, maybe. Behind the box, behind the. Oh. Okay, this one's kind of hard. All right. Um, drawers. Drawers. There it is. Ah, I made it. Oh, I died. No. Okay, I know where it is now. Drawer. Woohoo. <laughs> oh, another one. Uh, okay, so. Ooh, tiny red key. Uh oh. Oh, no. Tiny red key goes to the... I just threw it out the door. Tiny red key goes to the safe. All right. Tiny red key goes to the safe, and the safe goes to the key. Eh, grab the key. Nice. Okay. Um. All right. Tiny red key. Safe. Oh, my headset it's not strapped on. Woo all right. One more. One more. Oh, this is a big one. There's the red key. Where's the safe? It's over in the corner. Oh no. Oh no. I threw the key. <laughs> I let go of the key too early and now it's underneath the safe. Oh, wait, there it is. I'm not going to make it. 
<laughs> I, uh, the the uh, safe doesn't have any colliders on it, so when I let go of the key, it uh, went through the safe. All right. Tiny red key. There we go. Be precise. This is nice. Random ball. Woohoo! I did it! You won absolutely nothing, but thanks for playing. <laughs> nice! Okay, I really like that. That was good. It was a fairly, like, pretty complete game, too. Maybe uh, review them all later. Probably, a, maybe a good idea. Ten hour stream today. Ten hours tomorrow. <laughs> you guys would love to see a ten hour long stream. Five or so t time limit on each one. How complete the game is. Yeah, that's the. Uh, um, so the ideas for the rating was. So I really enjoyed this one. Um, interesting or unique um we'll go four because it's a key to a door not as unique presentation very well very nice um so the presentation category was supposed to be for um is kind of for like how complete is it like how well executed is the game um and then use of theme five out of five stars i'm gonna be high on most of the ratings um so don't at me if I overrate things. Uh, cool, so we played, oh, I gotta fix my uh, checkbox. So we played Speed Escape, we played Mutant Turtle Spider Escape Room VR uh, through the lens. Um, Alone is next. Alone submitted by Warped Imagination. Warped actually has a YouTube channel as well, if y'all want to uh, look him up. Warped makes really cool. Uh, he's making like this weird like VR chair um, that like has arms and stuff. All right, so this is the teaser for the game. This seems terrifying. Oh, gosh. Maybe we'll, maybe I should just play it before it uh, gives away too much. But Warp does have a YouTube channel if y'all are interested in um, his stuff. He uh, also talks about some Unity coding and is doing uh, devlogs on um, a cool like, VR turret space game um that he's working on um oh and he also made this game for the uh super jam cool all right let's play this one um escape room vr game with a twist made as a solo game entry for vr jan jam where the theme of the jam was escape room there was a solo effort by myself and was created in under 72 hours. Actually spent a lot less time because life gets in the way. Asset wise, you may recognize the hands I took from basic avatar from Mixamo. Um, you stand in a small room with no apparent way out. An unknown source asks you questions that you answer, um, that you answer by raising your hand without spoiling too much is answering the questions how you escape. Interesting. Sounds seems terrifying. Um, all right, so this one is called Alone. Dun dun dun. Yeah, horror games are terrifying, especially in VR. All right. Ooh, interesting hand mechanics. Oh, it's a very skinny wall. Okay. Um, 
raise your hand for the side that has the correct answer. Okay, are we are we ready to play this game? This is ooh, it's even short too. Oh no, I accidentally raised my right hand or my left hand. Oh, the game's gonna start anyway. Um, yes, except for that weird looking camera there looking at me. The environment is really cool. What is five minus one? Four. Am I still alone in the room? I'm gonna be constantly checking if I'm alone in the room. What is four minus one? Three. 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 You've got me jumpy now. Seven minus three. Four. Terrifying. Um, because I also know the creator of this game made a game about being in an electric chair. That was looks terrifying. I am correct. Which item can you see in the room that is missing from the list of uh, camera walls and lights? Um, food? Food is missing? Oh. Oh. The walls got closer. Oh, no. If five cats can catch five mice in five minutes, how long will it take one cat to catch one mouse? Uh, five. Aha! The wall's shrunk in. That's scary. Would you know if someone was behind you? Huh? Uh, probably not. I'm gonna go with no. Correct? God. Uh, what is four plus zero? Four. I don't like this. What is zero plus three? Three. <laughs> Constantly checking behind me. I'm being watched. I'm like sweating now. What is zero plus four? Ah! It takes a second to re register the hand raising. Do you think answering questions is how you escape? Probably not. I'm gonna go with no. Ooh, so should I just stop answering questions? Okay, so we'll stop answering questions. Is that how you escape the room? Is how you escape the room is by dying, by getting crushed by walls? Curious. There's got to be a different way to escape the room. Touch screen. It keeps talking about this touch screen. Can I get close to it? Oh, I, I have a very limited space. I can't get close to it. Plus, can I just walk walk up to it? Ooh, okay. What's the password? Oh, it was the uh, the numbers. It's the numbers. Does anybody remember what the numbers we had were? Crap, I gotta go through this whole thing again if uh, we don't remember the numbers. Okay, uh, touch screen. All right, gotta do numbers again. Two balls in front of a ball, two balls behind a ball, and a ball in the middle, how many balls are there? Oh gosh, two balls in front of a ball, two balls behind a ball, and a ball in the middle, five balls. Oh, that's incorrect. So it was three it was three could someone find you here probably not no oh no okay 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 uh four 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 should we should it be four or should it be three four 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 is a number. Okay, three. Three. Four, three. Four. Oh, we're starting this over? Yes? No? 
Oh gosh. Touch screen. What is black when you buy it, red when you use it, and gray when you throw it away? Red when you use it. Charcoal. Okay. The walls are expanding. When you take off the headset, is that reality? No. Oh, no. <laughs> what is one plus four is five? Okay, so I typed in the password, and now maybe if I answer the right, if I do the right answers, it will expand the walls until it. Um, okay, six. Hey, there we go. Ooh, angels. That was really cool, actually. No escape. Am I going to be back in the room? Uh oh. Is this the same one? Or are we just starting over? Okay, yeah, we are starting over. Cool. That was clever. I like that. Sorry, there are spoilers. <laughs> it's hard to make a uh, escape room where. Uh... All right, oh, hold on. I'm looking through the. Uh... <laughs> you could have made it really horror, but it isn't really. I get scared very easily. <laughs> you don't need to scare Justin. <laughs> yeah, I was terrified that someone was going to show up behind me the whole time. I kept, like, checking behind me. <laughs> um, okay. Yes, the numbers. Yeah, okay, hold on. I'm just checking up on chat, guys. That was cool. That was actually really cool. That was a good, it was like a whole experience. Like, you could, like, um, it was very simple. As far as, like, you know, technical, technically. But it was, like, a really good experience. I don't know, do we, do we count enjoyment as fear? Do, do you get less points if it's scary? <laughs> Concept, very, I'd say it's very unique. Very well executed. Very good use of theme. We'll give you all five stars. Very nice. All right. Alone we played. Prison Escape VR is next up by Brandon B1234. All right. Uh, game page. You are in prison and have to escape. Use all the clues wisely and try to get to the end. Uh, use the left thumbstick to move, right thumbstick to rotate, grip to grab, um, and install instructions. I like that you provide install instructions. Some people don't know how to do that. Cool. Prison Escape VR. Let's try this one. This is your favorite game, Brandon B? It's because you made this game. You can't just say this is your favorite game. Although I wouldn't say my game is my favorite game, so... Ooh, I'm a little tall for this. Alright. Oh, there we go. Reset. Alright. So there's poop in the toilet. I've been here for 8 days plus 12 days. Do I have to reach in the toilet? I don't want to reach in the toilet. Can I just walk through the gate? Nope. What if I flush? Can I flush? Did 
you make this game just so people would pick up poop out of a toilet? That's what I'm getting the impression. Oh, that's terrifying. Ooh, do you want this poop? Oh, I fell through the floor. Here you go. Eh. Did I just break the game? <laughs> Ooh, haha. There's a key. <laughs> I figured it out. You did just put the poop there so people would grab it. I hate you. Um, okay. Is that it? Is that the is that the whole thing? Oh wait, there's something underneath the bed. Hi. Cake. Can I eat it? Oh, sad. Can I give it to the skeleton? Do you want this? No. You don't want poop or pie. <laughs> I think that's the whole game. Is that it, Brandon? Did I, did I miss anything? <laughs> 8K poop. <laughs> cool. Very nice. I think I am going to dispense with the rating. I'll just kind of keep going. Magical escape. Uh, this one. Do I have this one downloaded? Magical. Yes, I do. There it is. All right. Do you want to practice magic? Then come and try magic escape. You have disrupted the plans of a powerful magician who then challenges you to leave his dungeon. To be eligible to become the magician's apprentice, you must get out of the dungeon by learning magic. To do this, you must find six hidden keys to open the magic door. Can you meet all of the challenges? Use your new learned magic to escape. Um, Movement-based magic system, interactive fire system, accurate hand interactions, an escape room, multitude of special effects, polished sound effects, and left hand friendly. Woohoo! Loved left hand friendly games. This one was your favorite? Okay. All right. I have to shimmy over to the right spot. Okay. Hands are accurately tracked. I like that. Nice. Um, ooh, that's fun. Um, all right, so we start off doing all of the continuous moves, which will be a little motion sick for some people, but um, for me, I'm fine. All right, let's calibrate our height. Um, I am standing. Calibrate height. Smooth turn. Oh, there we go. An option to turn smooth turn off. There we go. Very nice. Um, adding this kind of stuff into a basic VR game or like a game jam game is uh, very nice. It's just ex extra stuff. Um, and this is using um, uh, the Hurricane VR toolkit. I'm, oh, no. <laughs> I accidentally teleported through the wall. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> this is using the uh, apparently that's a magic spell or something that I just did. Ooh. Um, so, yeah, this is using Hurricane VR stuff. And so that it comes with a like kind of setting screen like this which is very nice um all right so we need a wand oh there's there's writing over here hey i know you have what i know that you want to be my apprentice but don't harass me like that here's the deal i locked you in this dungeon and i had six golden keys in there they open the main doors if you manage to escape until tomorrow I will take you as an apprentice. However, if you fail, you won't bother me ever again. Get it? Take the opportunity to practice elementary ma magic. Hazardous magnificus. <laughs> okay. So these are really cool. Oh, and everything's interactable. Yes. This is the proper VR game. I can throw books around. Yes. All right. Um, I need a wand, I guess. Can I break this? Cannot. Um, flick your wand. Alright. Spells of fire. So go up 
down backwards. Woo. Woo. Little, uh, oh, the little Half-Life Alex grab. Whoop. That's also, um, comes with Hurricane VR. If you were wondering, it's so nice. All right. So, oh, there's the one. There's another room I have to walk into. Okay. Spell of unlocking. Can I just do that to the door? <laughs> <laughs> oh no give me this all right take this wand it is a gift of mine i hope you remember how to make magic right press your index against the wand like a trigger when you have finished your release release it to cast a spell if you did it correctly it should cast understand press and release you must put the six golden keys in the six gold locks next to the door to open it p.s the chest is magic don't try to open it with a key <laughs> Okay. Um, okay, so we need six keys. What is this? Is this just like a light orb? All right, the spell of unlocking is... Bloop. Ooh, that's, that's very satisfying. Can I just do that to the door? Unlock! Not quite. <laughs> you know, you could hope. It's going to be one of those games where, like, you know, you have to do the... Ooh, it's a, it's a different... That's not... That's just, just a stick. <laughs> um, okay, the spell of water. Ooh, this is very satisfying. Okay, so let's put this fire out with the spell of water. And a key! Woohoo! Eh, give it to me. Alright, one key down. Ooh, another key. That one was easy. Nice. Love it. Love, love a freebie key. Um, the spell is magic. Oh, I have to unlock the... Aha! Alright. Flick. Yes, there we go. Feels good. The interactions are nice. The, the wand waving is very, very well done. I really like that. Um, okay, we did the spell of water. We did the spell of unlocking. Um, the spell of fire goes Ooh, okay um let's see oh that one's upside down um can i light this on fire no ah oh okay but i can burn crates so there are other crates around that i can burn um, ooh, yes, okay, so here we go. Nope, that was not it. Here we go. Yeah, there we go. Bird. Give me the keys. Aha! Alright, force grab, force, flick. Twist and flick. This, this makes me feel like I'm in Harry Potter, and I love it. You could absolutely turn this into like a full like game. This would be so much fun. Like I highly encourage you to do that. Like turn it into an actual like game. Even if you like want to offer it for free and like make it actually Harry Potter. Oh no. No keys there. Okay. What's with the grass? It's random grass of places. Okay. Uh, we're missing Two keys. What am I missing? Does this this has to do with something? That so this is just like a sticky old that goes in somewhere. That's so fun. Okay. feel like I'm missing something. Oh, is it just going to be like in this chalice or something? Where's the other key? <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Half-Life Alex style. Ooh, they're sprinting too. Yes, I love sprinting. Sprinting's a little difficult for um, newbies, but if you do add sprinting in, it's quite nice. Okay, do I need to do anything to these, or that's just a light source? Um... One more. One more, one more, one more. 
Okay, so there's one in there, there was one in the fire, there was one in the boxes that I had to make turn into a fire. Ooh, can I can I break that? That one's broken, which kind of leads me to believe I might be able to break this one or this one. Break. Nope. Ooh. Ooh. Smash. 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 No. No smashing. Okay, give me a hint, chat. Oh, we gotta light the torches. Four torches on the wall. Okay. Um, oh, I lost my wand. Oh. Um, okay. Four torches. Aha! Okay, so that's what that was. That was a torch that I had. Um, so where did it go? Maybe I can just use fire. Fire is that one. Nope. Okay, come on. Up, oh, over, up. Oh. oh, do I have to? Oh no. Where did my torch go? I was smacking things with it. Oh no, did I ruin it? Um, where's the torch? Where are you? Dang it. All right, hold on. We're going to res we're going to reset this and speed run it. You can use fire Oh, you can use fire to just get close? Okay. Oh, and then I drop my... Uh... I'm so good at this, guys. Alright. Fire is up over... Oh, I missed. Ah, come on. Okay. I want to see how this one ends. I'm just going to reset it. One sec. All right, speed running. We got the key behind here. Um, there's nothing else in this room. Bloop. Grab the torch. Um, light the torch. Light the torch. Light the torch. There we go. Ooh, can I... Yeah, I can just set things on fire this way. There we go. Alright. Ooh, key right there. Um, and then there's one in this little chalice over here. Oh, I'm gonna fall over. Okay, and then we need to put the fire out over there, um, so water, cool, got it, um, the key over here on the ground, And then one more, and that's going to be the chest. So unlocking is... There we go. Speed run. Ta-da! Ooh, a portal. That's fun. I have my wand. Thank you for playing. Have fun playing with all the different interactions. Cool. <laughs> yeah, this is your, like, test scene. Nice. Awesome. Very good game. That was... Pull the lever, Kronk. Wrong lever. Good game. I appreciate the effort you guys all put into this. Like, a lot of these are quite impressive 
for being 72 hour games. Um, you get all five stars. So enjoyment, very fun. Concept was uh, very unique with the uh, the spells and everything. Presentation, perfectly executed, very nice, except for uh, me throwing the torch in it, just disappearing into the unknown. And use of theme, it's an escape room. Very nice. Beautiful. Save rating. Carrying on. Um, so Magical Escape, Afterworld. Let's see, Afterworld is an action maze VR experience. It implements a gener genetic evolutionary AI algorithm to take the user through an evolutionary experience. Dash, swing, and interact with the environment as you race to collect souls scattered throughout this heavenly arena. Avoid Reaper's AI that gets smaller at noticing and they get smarter at noticing and targeting you as the game progresses. Interesting. But be quick as the tables can be turned to get the upper hand. Welcome to Afterworld. A long time has passed. For millions of years, the universe has stood still. Quiet. But it seems a place has been found where they can be reborn again. Unfortunately, with life also comes death. Save every last soul blooming in this world from the reapers that want nothing but darkness. But they live as well. Death, death adapts. Give death time and it will evolve to, ri to reap and erase. This world is in need of a savior. One who can protect these souls from the grasp of death. They cannot perish. Not before they've had a chance to live. Will you help? Interesting. This is cool. That was a cool little like intro. Um, all right, install instructions and nice. This looks interesting. It's just like one picture and there's a video, but we'll just play. Afterworld. Oh, hold on, I have to unzip it. Oh no, that's the APK file. I want the PC one. There we go. Afterworld. Welcome to Afterworld. A long time has passed. For millions of years, the universe had stood still, quiet. But it seems I have finally found a place where they can be reborn again. Unfortunately, with life, also comes death. I have to save every last soul blooming in this world from the reapers that want nothing but darkness. But it lives as well, death. Death and apps. Give death time, and it will evolve to reap and erase. I am in need of a savior for this world. One who can protect these souls from the grasp of death. They cannot perish. Not before they've even had a chance to live. Will you help me? Take my hand to start your journey. Oh, you're so far away, though. <laughs> I'm under my table now. There we go. I got it. <laughs> Don't worry, guys. <laughs> okay. Oh, red is probably bad. Oh, okay. There we go. Teleporting. Teleporting happens. Oh, it's like a grappling. Oh, ooh. A grappling hook? You guys definitely want a grappling hook tutorial, don't you? That's fun. Okay, so I probably need to get these little white things. Bloop. A baby. Oh, goodness. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Can I... Okay, yeah, so I have to just, like, grapple through the babies. That's the idea. Ooh, but then the little scary people come after me. I don't see the escape room part of this, but... I do like the grappling mechanics. That's fun. Oh, I missed that one. Do I just have to grab all of them? Oh. Avoid. Okay, so... Oh, there's a... Scary-looking guy. Can I just grapple the baby? Yeah, I can just grab it from, like, all the way back there. Woohoo! Alright, um, yep, bring me up. Beam me up, Scotty. Oh, okay, this is... Grapple's a little, uh, finicky, but... It works. 
Okay, so the little uh, scary people are chasing me. I feel like it's faster to grapple myself than to pull the babies. Okay, so is that is this the whole game? Me just having to go around and collect everything? All right, we'll go through this, and if I die, then that's just that's gonna be it. We'll move on to the next one. Cause I don't get the escape room aspect. It's an interesting game concept, but oh, so the this is the he scared me with his like adaptive AI. I assume it's a he. Could be a she. I just default. All right. Uh, ooh, there's bad, bad person in there. All right. I wanna grab this baby, and it's just me running around stealing babies. That's actually what's happening here. Woohoo! I'm Spider-Man. Okay. Oh no. Maybe. Let's get a good look at these babies. Interesting. Okay. Oh wait, what are the portals? I've not been paying attention to the portals. Oh. Am I supposed to avoid those? Or is it like Pac-Man? Like I can kill the, the red guys now? Okay, so... I don't really get the point of it. Oh no. Can I grapple this guy? <laughs> Woohoo! Oh, oh, oh no. <laughs> We're under the map now. We're just falling through the atmosphere. Oh! Okay, I broke it. <laughs> Alright, we'll exit out of that one. That was interesting. Is there a way to open Discord messages on Oculus VR? I have no idea, actually. <laughs> now I know why the enemies are falling through the floor. Yes, absolutely. Uh, maybe we'll come back and play this one when I have more time and try to get to the ending and then I'll rate it. Uh, we're we're moving on. We're trying to be efficient with our time. We actually have gotten a decent amount of the way through. Um, let's see. We're sorting by submission order and only doing Windows builds at the moment. So uh, I'm going to come back to cooperative. Um, we played Prison. Um, Afterworld I'm going to rate later. The Thief. We're getting there. We've gone through two columns. And we only have three and a half more to go. <laughs> This is closer to the pace you gotta go if you want to get through all 40. Yeah, I'm thinking tomorrow's. This will be like the pre live stream, and then we're doing another live stream tomorrow that will probably last a long time. I'm thinking, what time is best for y'all? Um, while you're here, while we're kind of in between games, what time should I stream tomorrow? I'm Eastern time, and so I'm thinking to doing around. Oh, well, I may need to split it into two streams. So if we're do, doing two streams, I may do like 10 a.m. Eastern and then like sometime in the afternoon. Um, you wish Discord had a VR meeting area? That would be pretty cool. Morning and afternoon. So I'm thinking, yeah, maybe one morning stream where we like finish off the rest of the PC games or something. That'll be a little shorter. And then like a super long like vr or uh, or maybe we need to do the because i'm gonna need to recharge this probably um so maybe we'll do the uh, quest games first and then come back and finish off the vr or the uh windows builds yeah so i'm thinking it'll probably be two streams tomorrow um and then we'll come back this is cool this is fun though i am enjoying this I'm taking a little break, as you can uh, tell. <laughs> All right. 
the Thief Vic. Your arch nemesis Vic has stolen your latest invention and plans to use it for himself. You must take back what is yours, but be careful. He is also a mediocre inventor. All right. An inventor. Doesn't give me much to go on, but the thief Vic. Load that up. Ah, Vic's repair. I bet you he's the one that stole my invention. I think I'll sneak inside and take a look. Ooh, okay. So, somebody has stolen our engine, I guess, and we have to sneak into Vic's repair. So we got a full body AK? IK? I guess it's full body. I can't see. My head is directly on top instead of slightly forward, so. Uh-oh. Oh no, I'm st I can still get out. Um, all right. Interesting. <laughs> I can still get out. If I just leave the door open, it's not an escape room, it's just a regular room. The hand interactions are nice actually. The head's a little too far back on the body, but it does feel good. Like, the elbows track pretty decent. I mean, they're not like, I mean, you know, VR elbows are very hard. Um, I don't really know what I'm supposed to be doing here. Oh, I'm looking for an engine, I think. Is there anything in the... Oh, this drawer's locked? Okay, that drawer's locked. Um, oh, here's a gear. The uh, music is kind of creepy. Oh no. Alright, the gear goes there. And then we're looking for oh, a, a different gear. What's this? Oh. What do you want? What, what should go there? Should this candle go there? No. Can I light the candle? No. Oh well. Um, okay. Electricity? That's a weird, like, looking screen thing. I'm not 100% sure what I'm supposed to be doing. Um, so, meat can go there. I don't see an electric thing, though. Also, is this the right... Should I put this gear over... No. Maybe this thing. <laughs> oh, almost knocked my water over. No. What do you want from me? Does anybody have suggestions? Um, feel like with the way so many games are expected to be constantly kept updated, Game Jam should have two rounds. One being a feedback, first being a feedback round. Oh, that would be clever. Then the game could be improved and use that use that feedback. Yeah, I do like that idea. Having like a, you know, you have 72 hours to make the game and then you have like a feedback round where it's a week and then the next weekend is like, okay, update your game and try to like make it, you know, polish it out really nice. That's an interesting concept. I mean, itch doesn't support that, I'm pretty sure, but I just... I do like that. Um, okay, so maybe this goes here. I feel like I'm supposed to put something up there, but I don't know what. Books, maybe? I can't grab books. Maybe these books. <laughs> no. So I don't know what else would go there. I don't really know what I'm supposed to be doing. Okay, well, instead of dallying too much on this, I'll uh, try to figure it out, and then we'll come back to it. Unless anybody has... Yeah. Okay. 
we'll come back to it. Maybe, you know, it's a 72 hour game jam. So um, maybe there's just some bug in there. No worries. Um, okay. Dollhouse Escape. This game was made in two days for the VR Jan, uh, VR Jan Jam. Um, it was built using WebXR. However, due to many build issues and tight deadline, I had to export it to PC VR. Ooh, building to Web VR is uh, quite a challenge. Um, you have to like you if you think the quest is hard on resources, WebXR is uh, quite difficult on the resources. So, um, totally understand doing the PC VR build. All right, controls. Right joystick is move or is up down. Left joystick is Oh, so you're kind of like flying, I guess, fluting. Um, grab the key with a trigger. You can control the doll. So click with your left hand command button. So primary button, I guess. And click the sequence of instructions the doll must follow, then click go. Um, then use it from the inventory. OK, well. We'll try it out and see what happens. Uh, this one's called Dollhouse Escape. I don't think I have this one downloaded. Download. Oh. Oh, wait. Yes, download. Just the downloads for now. Um, we'll do the most updated version. I'm pretty sure I downloaded this one. I did, I did, I did. I just couldn't see it for some reason. There it is. Can have multiple web pages for a WebXR game rather than every file being in one spot. Oh yeah. All right. Okay, so I like the controls already. Like being able to, you know, kind of move around and float around. Okay, so command um, up. Oh, so we want to get to the door. So we're going up two times and then to the right one time. Go. Oh, whoops. Okay, so right two times down. Two. Oh no. Delete. Okay, so right, right. All right, so it's from this perspective, not this perspective, because I was playing around with the movement. All right, so right, right, and then down. Go. Woohoo! Okay, that's pretty cool. Start next one. Okay, so we need to go um, command. We'll go right two, three, one, two, three, and then down two. One, two, go. Nice. Okay, that's pretty cool. What's the menu do? Start next. <laughs> Can I just go to the next one? Okay, so get the key and then go down. So command one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, go. Ooh, so now I have the. Oh, I have to unlock it. Okay, and then I didn't unlock. Oh, goodness. I didn't unlock it fast enough. So I get the key in my inventory whenever the doll walks over it. That's the idea. Tentatives. I don't know what that means. Ooh, okay, so there's a, <laughs> a fire pit. Um, all right, so we go one, two, three over. And we need to go left one, down one, down two, not three, and then right one more. Nope. I keep double hitting. A, a little... Uh, Debounce would be nice. All right, and then we got to be so fast to unlock the. Bloop. There we go. Nice. We're getting the hang of it. This is cool. I like this. Uh, this is a cool concept, where you're kind of like the above 
mode. Okay, so we're going to go right to one, two, and then down to, and then right one. Oh, just one. And down one. Go. Nice. How many levels are there? I always forget to click next level. Ooh, okay, so we need to go right one, down one, two, three, three, go left one, up one, nope, left, nope, just one left, up, um, and then down, and then one, two, three. Right, oh, I accidentally hit up in there. Ah, oh, dang it. Okay, right, and then down, 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 right, one, two, three, and then left one, and then up one, just one, up, and then down. Goodness, the double, the double click is hard. And then, what's up with the fire right here now? Can I move that? Can I just move the fire? But I don't know how to fix the fire. I'm confused. Wasn't the fire just right there? Okay, so up, down, and then we'll just go right, and we'll see what happens when the dude goes to the fire. Ooh, it changes. Ooh. It... Oh, it changes every time you move. Okay. Oh, dang it. Interesting. Okay, so you gotta like time it to do. Um, can I just delete? Do you have to do the whole thing? Um, okay, down and then right, and then we'll go. Huh, this is gonna be interesting. This is a puzzle. Oh, I already have the key, duh. So now I, I don't have to go around over there, I can just delete everything. Um, and then instead of going left, we're going to go right. Not that many times, just twice. There we go. Haha! <laughs> Clever. Okay. Oh, I made it. That's the end. Cool. Very nice. Good game. I like that. Very clever. Oh, you can actually interact with the doll? If I, like, can I pick him up? Ooh, you can! <laughs> That's fun. <laughs> That's cool. That's a nice little touch. Yeah, that's cool. But I'm gonna catch up on the uh, chat. Yeah, I'm going through a uh, submission order, Vesely. Um, but yeah, this one was really cool. And the music is nice too. Yeah, the like kind of background music, it, it is good. Um, having the a shower thoughts kind of idea would be having the VR use in use of dioramas can have an object in a larger VR world be an enclosed scene in all around. Oh yeah. So just kind of add in like a, um, you're like playing in an actual dollhouse in a room or something. That would be cool. And then you could really meta it and you try to escape the actual room. <laughs> just expand on this. I would really, really love to do a community um, game where it's like a just an open source everyone can contribute kind of game where you know we can all throw ideas we'll just have one central trello board and everyone can just grab task off of the trello board and then you know you're like okay i want this one or i want this one um and you know play around with that like i think that would be super cool um 
yeah, something you tend to see in art school classes or in high school art classes where a box removed viewing a small scene. All right, hold on one, one second. I'm uh, seeing how much longer I can go. And uh, my wife isn't home yet, so I can, I, we can keep going. We can basically keep going until my wife gets home. That's the, uh, that's the idea. <laughs> or I get um, tired and need to go eat. The idea would definitely have to have fail saves for sure. Like it would be, um, it, it would be something like you have to submit a pull request and I would need to do a video about the proper way to do like kind of enterprise, um, you know, submissions of code and whatnot. Um, but then it would be like me and a couple other monitors, uh, moderators would be able to approve pull request. And like only then would your code actually be able to be submitted into um, the project, that kind of thing. Uh, but yeah, I think it would be really cool. Like, uh, and we could do really, uh, like a really simple one, like a um, uh, like a Wild West game where you just have to be the fastest draw kind of thing. Uh, that would be cool, um, or just just something. All right, so we play Dollhouse Escape. Forest Tower is next. This game was made for the VR Jan Jam of 2022. The game uses continuous movement, so we recommend having some previous experience with VR. It takes you into a tower with a little puzzle. This game is PC only um, and uses all of these assets. Cool. But that looks really pretty. If they could replicate that in game, I'm going to be quite impressed if you get that kind of that same quality in game. Tree, what's it called? Forest Tower. How often do I test the community's games? Well, this is just based on a um, VR Jan, a v, the VR Jan Jam that we just played. Uh, the people, everyone just participated in uh, this last weekend. Um, but if you're interested, I could start doing on the weekends playing some uh, more like indie kind of games or like people could submit their games to me and I could play them on the weekends. I think that'd be pretty cool. Do like a review of like alpha builds or beta builds or whatnot if you're you know, if you're making a game and just have me review it, that would be pretty cool. And I could like, you know, do some live streams like this. Would y'all be interested in that kind of thing? Because I've been thinking about doing more gameplay kind of live streams because, um, they're you know, they're pretty easy to just kind of jump in and set up. Um, yeah, weekly series, it would be like uh, like a Justin reviews or, you know, something like that for like VR games. Um then you could you could submit your game. You could submit other people's games of like or like, you know, play this game I found on um, SideQuest. And like, I think it's interesting or I think it's buggy and has this weird feature and I want you to review it. Um, but yeah, it would be, it would more be focused on indie games and not the commercial games. Um, like if you would want to like play, if you want to watch people play like Zenith or whatever, then like Mateo is a great one to watch or Gamertag VR. Um, some of the other like, you know, VR YouTubers. Um, or like, you know, great to watch those kinds of things. Fan Made Friday. I like that. I'm going to write that down. That's a good idea. Um, ideas. Fan Made Friday. VR game reviews. Specifically indie game reviews. Yeah, I could test the Patreon games for sure. Absolutely. Yeah, like a weekly fan made Friday game. I mean, apparently this is a pretty good time for a lot of people. Um, there's a decent amount of people on the stream, so uh, that's pretty impressive. Let me check my uh, stream's health and all that just to make sure nothing's freaking out. Still going strong. Oh, is there another bot in here? 
Is that the same one? Hide user on this channel. Apologies for the bots. I don't normally get um, botted. Yeah, three Thrill Seekers uh, Tuesday Newsday, except he does like a Wednesday Newsday. He does it on different days sometimes. All right, let's jump back into the games. Good ideas. I think I will start doing this more often. Um, you know, shorter streams a little bit maybe, or maybe like I'll play. Well, it'll be games that like last longer, so it'll be less less games, but probably similar amount of um, hours. I'll probably do like I like to do two hour streams. They're not terribly um, intensive on life in the world. Um, all right. So this one, we're in a tree house, and we have to solve a puzzle, I think is the uh, the idea here. Interact with the ladder to go up. It is really pretty. And the frame rate's good, too. Like, it doesn't, it's not, like, laggy or anything. Well, not yet, anyway. Nice. Okay, I don't think there's any audio, either that or my headset died. I think my headset might have died. Hold on. No, I think it's still fine. All right. Welcome to Forest Tower. You have to find a way to open the door. Oh, I thought it was pointing. <laughs> the, the E's look like they're pointing into the corner. Okay. Um, so there's a key already. Oh, no, it's a hologram of key. So I'm looking for a key. Interact with the ladder to go up. Okay, so you just teleport up. All right. Interact with the hatch to go down. Oh, there's another ladder. Oh, that's pretty. That looks good. That's really cool. Okay. Can I interact with the pillow? Okay, so there was another one of those little weird picture things down there. I don't know what this has to do with anything, but uh, oh, I like how there's like a curtain on the thing. Also, the collider's a little weird. So like, yeah, so the collider's off. So the collider's like over here, but I'm over here. Um, so I think the collider is tracking the XR rig and not the actual uh, person, but that's okay. We can just rotate to get around it. All right, do a chest. Oh, okay, so we're collecting these things, apparently. I don't know what to do with them, though. Ooh, a book. Okay. Ooh, there we go. Oh, I have to rotate. All right, so we need all four of those thingies then. Go back down. One more. Grab these two. Can I? Oh, I have to do one at a time? OK. OK, I have no idea what order I'm putting them in, but we'll see. Um, all right, down one more. Grab this one, go back up. Oh, come on. There we go. Up. And the last one's going to be all the way on the ground floor. Gosh, it really is pretty. I'm surprised you were able to keep the frame rate up so high. Because it doesn't feel laggy. Um, I guess it does make sense that it is PC only. Yeah. All right. Where was that other one? All the way on the ground. There you are. I knew you'd be uh, needed later. 
Just didn't know it'd be very, very tall. Oh, maybe the frame rate is skipping a little bit. I can feel the the motion sickness. Like it's like not motion sicky, but it's. Um, okay, now how do we know what order? Oh, there's a key. Can I just grab the key? <laughs> Um, so I picked up this one first, so it should probably go over here. But I don't remember what order things were in. Maybe we'll just try random things. Oh, there we go. That's it. <laughs> um, there was probably a clue, or it, I, it might be just the, what floor you're on. All right. Go all the way back down again. Oh, where's the... There it is. And one more. Ta-da! Oh, collider issue. There we go. Woohoo! Let me out, let me out. Oh, and we can just run around outside. Feel the grass. Very gladiator. This is really, really... Ooh, look at the sun. Oh, goodness. Oh, there we go. Thanks for playing. Nice. Cool. Well done. Well, let me see if my uh, headset is dead. Because I didn't hear any audio on that one. Nope. Headset's still fine. I think that one just didn't have audio. See you, Caden. Yeah, go try the The thing about playing these is that... You know, it's an escape room. So once you find the clues, then, um, yeah, yeah. When, once you find the clues, it's not really replayable. So I, I give you all the spoilers. Uh, the oh, the clue for this one was on the floor below, written on the wall. Okay, I'm just a good guesser. <laughs> um. Yeah, the, the lighting and environment for this one is very nice. Wow, you guys chat a bunch. Um, Unreal Engine, you know, it's it's prettier. Um, and I think it has some things that are set up a little better for VR. But then, I don't know, Unity is like ahead of the game as far as tech goes in the VR realm. Um, and also Unity is just C-sharp, so that's the whole reason I stay with Unity, is because I learned on C-sharp, but... Yeah, never know. Maybe one will have procedurally generated puzzles. That's that's true. Forest Tower. That was a pretty good one. Pretty simple. Not bad for a... Uh, I mean, you could tell where all the time and energy went was the uh, graphics, which was fantastic. Like, look at those screenshots. That's beautiful. All right, let's do Escape Duality. We'll probably go for 15 minutes. We'll go to the hour, and then, uh, and then I'll call this one done. This is a virtual reality escape game, escape room game. You are stuck in a room caught between night and day. You must change day to night and night to day in order to escape this room. Good luck. Used VR interaction framework. And then coded the rest. Cool. Teleport has a bug at the moment. You can use, you can still use the left stick to move. All right, no worries. And then controls are grip button, left stick to move around, right stick to rotate. And then secondary button exits the game. Cool. I like it when people add in the exit kind of button. The exit functionality is quite nice. Being it, not having to like you know go manually kill the game. All right, escape duality. Refresh the submission page. Oh yeah, yeah, I can do that. I've also got a checklist to make sure I actually hit all of them. But yeah, right now I'm I'm going in order of the. Uh, Whoever has the uh, VR or the uh, Windows tag at the moment. Am I getting too close to the... Let me move forward a little bit. 
to kind of shimmy so I'm in the center of the screen. Okay. This is cool. All right. Controls up there. Red plus blue equals green. I don't know what that means or why that's useful, but I mean, I know what that means. I don't know why it's useful. All right. Knight. Ooh. That's fun. Day. It's a very satisfying click. The number changes right there. So we got 867 and 530. That's a clue. Um, okay. I don't really know what I'm supposed to do, but I do want to grab this knife because why not? Oh, no. Oh, <laughs> the grab is, is it? Yeah, it's just wherever you are when you pick it up. It doesn't snap to the handle. <laughs> Oops. Um, warning, corrosive green potion can dissolve metal and you. And then there's a clue over here that says red plus blue equals green. So we need to combine potions and dissolve the lock on the door or do other things. Okay, so we're potion making. That's what we're doing, I guess. Okay, so can I can I grab any of these? Nope. Okay, so I have blue. Does this book do anything? No. Um, can I open this? No. All right, let's go. Ooh, okay. Ooh. Day plus night. Okay, okay. So what is 867 plus um, 530? Those of you who are good at math, we'll see who can get first. 8 plus 5 is... Um, yeah, 8 and 5 is 13. Um, 13, 9, 7. 1, 3, 9, 7. Uh, I figured it out for you. Pound? Did that do something? I don't know if that did anything. That is the right number, right? Okay, what if I go to night? What's different? Anything different? No. Can I drop this into the fire? Red plus blue equals green. Ooh. Okay. What else can I? Can I put this book in the fire? Nope. Only the potion. Okay, so we have the blue potion. I guess we're looking for a green potion, but did I type the number in wrong? Maybe I need to type it in while it's night, maybe. One, three, nine, seven. Pound. It just yells at me. It doesn't do anything. Okay, chat. Help! Oh, just enter the numbers. Oh, okay. It's a string, not an integer. I see. Day plus night. So it's going to be 867 and 530. So 867530. Zero, zero. Aha! Purple. Is it purple? No, it's red. Yeah, red and blue makes green. Ooh. Wow, that was very grandiose. All right, now we have the green um, dissolver potion. Now what? 
We use it on the door. Warning. Okay, so we can use it on this. Yeah, there we go. A key. Give me, give me the key. Oh, oh. Accidentally tried to teleport. Nice, okay. That's cool. Ta-da! Congratulations, you made it. <laughs> nice. Okay, cool. Very cool. Yeah, that's what... Uh, <laughs> adding the numbers, I did not um, realize that it was adding them as string concatenation instead of, like, integers. <laughs> I would have not figured that out. So, uh, thanks for the help. <laughs> Purple is the new red. <laughs> Refresh the submission page. All right, going by order, Windows. Um, Brandon, which one was yours? We did this one, 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 this one. Is there any of these say Brandon on them? Since you wanted me to refresh. Are you still here, Brandon? If you're still here, I'll play your game last. Jeffrey Splody Hands. Okay. Last game. Jeffrey Splody Hands. And then we'll come back tomorrow. So if you're interested, um, make sure to like the video, please, if you are enjoying this. Um, and then make sure the notification bell is on just so you get notified when I go live tomorrow. Otherwise, with YouTube's new algorithm, they... Uh, don't always notify you so all right jeffrey splody hands in this game you generate explosions out of your hands and you have to use this power to keep yourself out of prison interesting shoot 10 pieces of evidence out the window before the cops show up to win generate explosions from your hands interesting okay did i download it already yeah All right. Let's try this one out. Last game of the day. Let's see. Oh, wrong screen. There we go. Hype music. Jeffrey Splody Hands. You are a kleptomaniac with a house full of evidence, and the cops are on their way. Throw it out. Throw it out the window. Use the triggers to make explosions. Ooh, that's fun. <laughs> you can also pick things up with the grab button. Ooh, I like the smoke effect. The smoke particles are cool. And they are parented to the hand, though. You see, when, it, when I turn. <laughs> One tip, unparent from the hand. Okay, three points for the heavy thing, two points for the less heavy thing, and one point for everything else. Let's start. Some bopping music, okay. Running, running, running. All right, we have to get it out the window, so. Bah, 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 bah. Oh, dang. Holy cow. That's a lot faster than I thought. All right. Ka -chow, ka -chow, ka -chow. Oh, I feel like those aren't going to be. <laughs> you can hear my computer complaining because it's using too much power now. Woo! All right, this is fun. <laughs> go, 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 go. Out the window. All right, I finally got one thing out the window. How much time we have left? 47 seconds. Come on. There we go. Get rid of the evidence. The irons. <laughs> the, uh, the anvils are the evidence. For some reason, the anvils have cocaine in them or something. <laughs> I know you can, like, pick things up to throw them, but that actually is quite effective. <laughs> All right. Oh. Oh. Oh, okay, it ended. Did, did it see how many points I got? Alright, let's try again. Where's the window? Alright, we have... Oh, we need to get 10 points. Oh, okay, so I got 10 points. So one point... Go. Gotcha, okay. So we just have to get rid of 10 evidences, because if we have, like, 65, like we have out here now, then the cops will arrest us. But, 
if we get rid of 10 evidences, then we don't have to worry about anything. Alright, so just a couple anvils, get rid of some TVs. So it's not us escaping from the room, it's the other items escaping from the room. Alright, so we have 30 seconds left and we hit our required 10 items. There we go, nice save. Woo! <laughs> nice, okay. Fun! But yeah, I agree, I agree, not an escape room, but um, it's an escape room for the items. <laughs> What if you threw yourself? Ooh, that, I should have tried that. Do I get more points if I just escape if I jump out of the room? <laughs> Obviously, the case is harder to prosecute if you have less items. I do agree. All the anvils. The anvils are just, you know, difficult inherently to lug around as evidence. <laughs> Something that makes exploding hands. That's why they're in prison in the first place. Yeah. <laughs> Same time tomorrow? Should I do the same time tomorrow? Yeah, let's figure out when, when the stream tomorrow. All right, so I'm thinking I can do one stream at the same time tomorrow because obviously you guys are showing up. Um, so it was two, I guess three hours ago. I've been going for three hours almost. Wow. Um, yeah, so three hours ago. And then um, I'll probably do an earlier stream as well. Um, try to space it out. <laughs> give, give my uh, Quest headset some time to charge in my headphones. <laughs> cool. Well, I appreciate all of you for coming out. Um, this was super fun, um, and I really enjoy playing all your games. We actually got through a decent amount. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and then like 12 and 13-ish. So <laughs> we have... Well, we got a fourth of the way through, so tomorrow's going to be a long day. Um, this is, yeah, this is all the games that I've played so far. Is just in, the, in this stream. I haven't tried any of them out beforehand because I wanted to, you know, experience them for the first time. Because they're escape rooms, so they're not really a repeatable game, per se. So, yeah, same time tomorrow. And then also earlier in the morning tomorrow. Maybe around noon, maybe right after... Maybe before we'll do early, we'll do like 10-ish probably, Eastern. Um, and then do another one a little bit later. My top three so far. That's a good question. Um, so let's see. I really liked... Uh, so Through the Lens was good. This one was like... Um, like when you think of escape room through the lens really matches up with that. There was just like, you know, several puzzles in there that you had to solve. Um, and, you know, it's in one, like, or two rooms that you kind of like are adjacent, that kind of thing. That would be in my top three. Um, alone would probably be in my top three. It was very simple as far as implementation goes, but it was very well executed. Like it was a whole experience. Like I highly recommend if you haven't played alone yet, play that one. It's uh it's an experience. Like you it it's very high quality. It feels finished. Like it's nice. Um and then let's see. Oh pick one more. Oh goodness. I did like this one was cool because of the hands. Um I want to try this cooperative cooper cooperative escape room tomorrow like a multiplayer try to get that going um i would probably go with the the recursescape vr that one was fun that one was cool because i like forgot like i was i put on the vr headset and i was in vr but i forgot i was in vr so i forgot that i could take the headset off so it was very like immersive that was pretty cool um oh a magical escape a magical escape uh, so yeah these would probably be my top three through the lens alone and a magical escape I'm gonna I'm gonna put those because the magical escape, just the wand interaction itself was spot on. It was beautiful. Cool. Well, we shall continue tomorrow, and uh, I hope to see you again. And if not, these will be posted. So um, if I didn't hit your game today and you can't come tomorrow, then um, it'll it's it's being recorded and it'll be posted on my um, channel. So no worries. Thanks each and every one of you for coming out, and uh, I'll see you tomorrow.